Hi, my name is Sam Kovaca. I'm a PhD candidate at Johns Hopkins, and I'm here to talk to you about my work with nanopore signal alignment for adaptive sampling and more. Adaptive sampling, also known as read intel, is a method where individual reads can be selectively ejected from the pore before they finish sequencing, enabling targeted sequencing without any special library preparation. Um, now, to get this to work, this requires an algorithm which can rapidly identify reads of interest in real time. And there's two main approaches uh, which people have used for this. The first is uh, base calling read fragments and aligning them with a standard DNA aligner. Um, the first method which got this to work really well was ReadFish, uh, released about a year ago. And then shortly after, ONT implemented a similar method uh, directly into Minnow. The main bottleneck with these types of methods is the base calling step itself, which is quite computationally intensive. To bypass this, uh, uh, other methods go straight from the raw signal and align this directly to a reference. Uh, the very first adaptive sampling implementation used dynamic time warping um, for this uh, method. And however, this was uh, kind of slow and was limited to small references. So to address this, uh, we developed Uncalled, which was actually uh, released and published on the same day as ReadFish. And this was the first scalable signal-based method. So Uncalled was based on the FM index, which is a data structure used by a lot of DNA aligners. Um, and it considered many k-mers, uh, which the signal could represent, and tried to find paths to the reference consistent with those k-mers. Um, and we demonstrated uh, deplete, uh, adaptive sampling depletion on a mock microbial community and enrichment on a, of several human cancer genes on a cell line. Um, so we have a lot of uh, plans of how to further develop on calls. We want to get it working on larger references, get it working with direct RNA-seq data, and just generally speed the algorithm up. But as we've worked on this, uh, we found it challenging to really assess the accuracy of our alignments. And we found that there weren't very well-established tools for really analyzing raw nanopore signal alignments, which is somewhat surprising um, because alignment of nanopore signal is uh, has a lot of applications in nanopore sequencing, including modification detection, reference polishing, and base color training. Um, uh, and these methods are usually based on dynamic time warping, uh, where the ROS signal is aligned to a DNA reference uh, using a pore model to find the expected current from that reference. So this figure here is illustrating uh, uh, an alignment of nanopore signal on the x-axis to a reference genome on the y-axis, and then the signal up on this top panel is annotated by which reference base it matches. Um, so common tools to perform this type of analysis are nanopolish and Tombow, um, and many modification detection tools use input from one or both of these tools uh, for downstream analysis. But like I mentioned, despite its widespread use, um, not much work has been done to really explore the strengths and weaknesses of these algorithms. Um, and so to address this, we're developing Uncalled 4, which is a toolkit for nanopore signal alignment, analysis, and visualization. Um, so Uncalled uh, represents alignments as a set of read and reference coordinates associated with different layers, um, which are shown here in these side panels. So we have the current uh, observed at each reference position, uh, the dwell time, and the difference between the expected and observed current based on a pore model. Um, another development uh, we've created with Uncalled is a novel dynamic time warping algorithm, which is guided by Guppy metadata, um, which is illustrated here in these orange dots which shows Minimap2 alignments of base called reads um, projected into signal space based on Guppy metadata. Um, and we have some results, which I'll go through later, which suggest that this does help with our accuracy a bit. Um, Uncalled for also supports importing alignments from Tombow and Nanopolish to produce these visualizations and other analyses, which I'll go through shortly. Um, and all of this is under very active development. So we're gonna be introducing more features um, shortly. Uh, another type of visualization which Uncalled can produce are what we're calling track plots, which is a set of alignment statistics over reference coordinates. So here we're looking at some data from E. coli ribosomal direct RNA sequencing. Um, and uh, here we have in vitro transcribed RNA with modifications removed and natively transcribed RNA, which uh, we know contains a modification at one of these bases. Um, and then in this panel is showing a chaos statistic measuring the difference in the current distributions between the two samples. 
Um, so this is a common way to detect modifications in nanopore data, which other tools have implemented. But uncalled for allows you to make these sort of analyses with any alignment method. Um, and it's highly customizable. So you can view any uh, different kind of layers with these. So here we're viewing the difference in the observed and expected cord, uh, current based on a model. Um, uh, but yeah, you can plot any sort of layer and summary statistics over the reference coordinates. And these plots are interactive. So we're developing a browser-based application where you can click on different points to view individual alignments and explore differences between different samples and methods. Um, so here we're showing a dot plot of uh, individual read aligned using two different methods, so uncalled for and Tombow in this example. And then this side panel is showing a measurement of distance between these two alignments. So it's showing the average uh, number of reference bases that different stretches of signal are away from each other. So spikes in this indicate uh, where the alignment methods disagree. So this is an example of uh, two DTW-based methods. We can also measure the distance between a DTW method and uh, base projected base called alignment. Um, so that's what we're doing here. We're looking at uh, uncalled Tombow and nanopolish alignments compared against projected base called alignments over the whole E. coli 16S transcript. Um, so there's a few things we can note here. First, uncalled seems to be closer on average than the other methods, um, where of course we have a bit of an advantage because we're guided by those same base called alignments. Um, we see in these red stripes on Tombow that there are a few reads that Tombo, for whatever reason, seems to get um, quite wrong compared to the base called alignments. And if we look uh, closer at this, we see that nanopolish, uncalled, um, both agree quite closely with a base called alignment where Tombo is far off. And this is interesting because Tombo seems to perform much better for um, uh, uh, modification detection than the other tools. So it seems that like on a base-to-base -base basis, Tombo is getting usually a better refinement of signal to reference, but um, some reads, there's clearly a lot of room for improvement. Um, another thing that stands out is this position around 500, where all methods seem to be having trouble to varying degrees. Um, so if we look closer um, at an alignment of a read uh, around this region um, of, for nanopolish and Tombow, we see that nanopolish is quite close to the base called alignment um, and Tombow is a bit further away. Uh, we're still trying to explore exactly why this is happening. Uh, we see that the signal is quite noisy in this region, um, where normally we see a bit of a tighter band around uh, the expectation. Um, sometimes the signal gets noisy and we're not quite sure why. Um, so our plan is to do a bit of a wider screen, um, see if we can find other examples of this happening uh, and see if we can find any certain sequence motifs uh, which could suggest uh, why this happens, uh, whether it's like low complexity sequence or if there's evidence of uh, uh, secondary structure like on the trans side of the pore. Um, so yeah, we're really interested to figure out why this is happening. Uh, other future work, uh, we wanna keep developing our alignment algorithms. Uh, like I mentioned, Tombow tends to do better at detecting modifications than uh, our method or nano polish. So there's some lessons to be learned there. Um, and we wanna look at other metrics of uh, alignment accuracy and just keep working on speeding things up like that. Um, and we also want to get back to working on adaptive sampling. And something we're really excited about getting into is trying to uh, integrate uh, highly optimized dynamic time warping into, un into uncalled adaptive sampling method. So a way we could do this is uh, using the original uncalled algorithm to generate seeds, um, which we're visualizing here, where we see a few false positive seeds and then the true positive mapping right there. Um, what we could do is once we find some of these seeds, if we have a very optimized DTW method, extend those quickly. Um, and that sort of analysis could be implemented on the GPU, uh, which could really take advantage of the hardware that um, we know a lot of users have. Um, so I'd like to thank everyone who's helped me with this project. Uh, my advisor, Mike Schatz, uh, Vikram Shiva Kumar, who's a rotation student in our lab, and then uh, members of the Winston Timps lab who's helped with uh, providing data and guiding uh, what kind of work is needed for this type of analysis. Thanks.